Hi there, for the CAD Geek, I'm Donnie Gladfelter, and in this video, we're gonna use action macros to automate the process of creating curb offsets. If you've ever done this before, you know just how incredibly tedious the process of offsetting all of my curb lines can be. So to help make this a little bit easier for me, what I'm going to do is navigate over to the Manage tab in either AutoCAD or AutoCAD Civil 3D, and either one, you're gonna find a panel here called Action Recorder. So to start this process, what I'm going to do is click on record. Now the way that this works is any keystrokes basically that I enter from this point forward will be recorded and I will later be able to play those back. So in this case, I'm just going to use the offset command. I'll hit O for offset. And as we know with the offset command, it's gonna ask for a distance. So I'm gonna start out with one and a half feet, so 1.5 and hit enter. Now it's gonna ask me for the object I'd like to offset. I'm gonna pick this line. I'm gonna to pick to the inside right here. And there is that point right there. So what I'm gonna do now is exit. And I'm gonna start the offset command yet again, except this time I'm gonna offset six inches or 0.5 feet and hit enter. And I'm gonna pick that new line and offset to the inside like so. And finally, I'll go ahead and exit out of this command here. And that's pretty much my action macro at this point. So what I'm going to do is hit stop. I'm gonna call this curb, okay? And I will go ahead and say, okay. So that's gonna save this action macro as a macro named curb. And now you'll notice here in this dropdown list, I have, as you might expect, a macro named curb. Now the thing is, in order to make this work for every other curb that I need to offset, every other curb is not located at the exact point that this one was. So the coordinates that the action macro recorder recorded will not work for me so well. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna right click and say pause for user input for the select objects and also for the um, offset side here. And I'm gonna do the same for the second offset here as well. So I'm just going to use the pause for user offset here. Now, the way that this works is that now I'd like to offset this curb line. So what I'm going to do is just hit play and it's going to ask me to pick the curb and I'll pick to the inside and I'll pick a second time and pick to the inside and that action macro has been completed. And as you can see there, I have created the curb offset. Now what's great about this is not only can I come up here and choose play, but whatever I name this macro also functions on inside of AutoCAD as a command. So what I mean by that is if I type in curb, that is registered as a command. So I can go ahead and pick on that. And without even coming up here to the ribbon, I can perform my curb offsets like so, just like that. I have created those curb offsets. So as you can see here, very, very simple process to create these, but has the upside of dramatically speeding me up as I have to create these offsets throughout my site. So there you have it, just a quick tip for a way to use the action recorder inside of AutoCAD to make your tedious offsets inside of AutoCAD a little bit easier. For the CAD Geek, I'm Donnie Gladfelter. Thanks so much for watching.